Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to access Newzella. Newzella is an app where Miss Yeoman and I or other teachers can post articles on different topics related to science, social studies, or ELA, maybe even sometimes math. And those articles have like a quiz attached to it. And it's a great way for students to practice reading. So when we're in Clever, and once we've logged in, we go to our favorite apps, we click on Newzella, which should be right here at the top if we favorited it, or it'll be under reading right here where it says reading. Click on Newzella. So what a student will see in their Newzella account, um, when they first log in, they might see a settings page or all sorts of other things, but the fastest way to get to what they need to do is clicking on the Newzella logo up here. That'll bring them to their assignments page where all those assignments posted by me are right there or Ms. Yeoman are right there. And the other option is to explore and find new articles. Oh, explore. Um, we can also view the progress in the binder down here. And this will show them the articles that they've done and how they scored on those quizzes. You can actually go back usually and try those quizzes again. And that's it. Okay, this part of the video is on using Newzella on a phone. Now for me, the best way to use Newzella is to go in and actually get the Newzella app. It's made for students and it's really easy to use. And the way to find it is to go into the App Store. We search for Newzella and it'll be the first one that pops up. We hit the download or get button. We'll start downloading in the background. Once it's downloaded, we click on the app. It'll ask us to sign in. We choose sign in on the bottom. And the best way to sign in is with Google, not with Clever. So we sign in with Google and it'll pop up and one of the options should be at this point if we've been using our school email, it'll be the school email. Now, normally I would click that at centralcatholicindy.org email, and you guys should do that too, but um, since I'm not a student, I can't use this app, so I have to actually make another account. So, But you would normally click at centralcatholicindy.org, and it'll pop up. And the first thing it'll say is latest. And then what I just enabled there was notifications for when assignments are posted. So if you want to get an, a notification every time an assignment is posted by Ms. Yeoman or I or another teacher, that would be smart. And then, so on the bottom here, we have latest. So these are all just articles that are the latest from um, Newzella. And there's some pretty interesting ones like Baby Yoda toys, Summer Olympics. Down here, we have assignments. Now, this is probably the most important page for students. And here it shows me I have three new assignments. And Mr. Darren was nice enough to give me assignments on humpback whales because he knows how much I love them. Um, and when you go into an assignment, you just click. And it'll start loading. It'll load the assignment, but then if you click on the article, it'll load it, with, it'll give you instructions. When you scroll through, you'll be able to read the article. And on the bottom here, it'll say activities. Every time we assign an article, we want to do the quiz activity. So we click on that. And there'll be a four question quiz on what we just read in the article. And you just go through, get multiple choice. Usually there might be a written response. It might ask you to select the paragraph and you have to just hit down like that on the left side. Click on the paragraph that you think is right. The third, it'll ask you for specific paragraphs, paragraphs one through three. So you just read through, choose the answer you think is right. Question four, it might ask you to read a specific paragraph and you choose your answer and hit submit. And then at the end, it'll give you a review of everything for each of those questions. So tell you what you did right, what you did wrong, and that's it. That's how you do an assignment in Newzella. If you want to search for other articles on specific topics, there's also that option. So if you're really interested in giraffes, you can type giraffes and it'll pull up fun articles on giraffes. And that's pretty much everything you need to know for Newzella on a phone using the app. Another way to find Newzella would be to go into Clever. Again, we're not using those Clever badges. We're just going to log in with our username and password. It'll log in on a browser, and you have to just type in the school again. It looks like it's going to ask you to do this every time, so this will be pretty tedious. This is why I like the um, just downloading the app. Log in with Google. I'm going to use my school email. Adarwin at 
centralcatholicindy.org. So that's my school email. Learn my learn password. This is a lot longer. That's why I like downloading just the app if you can. You go down to your favorites. Since it's saved, Newzella will be right there. Click on Newzella. And it'll probably ask you to download the app. So it'll actually open it up in Newzella. Just like that.